I am so excited for episode number two after our break. And today's guest, as you can guess, is a product of networking. I met Pamela over at the ECC for my most recent engagement, my first one on podcasting. Everyone out there, be sure to look at my link tree on Instagram. I do these awesome talks for no cost for you. I do one on entrepreneurship, one for authors, and one on podcasting. But for today, we're focusing, on, focusing excuse me, more on that author route. And today's guest, she's got three books. That's right, a three-time published author. Pamela, it's great to see you. And thank you for joining Writing with Authors. Well, thank you so much, Vincent, for having me. I'm excited to be here today. Oh, I'm very excited to have you on. I know the passion and enthusiasm you have behind all your work. But if it is your first episode today, right now, tuning in with us, this is Writing with Authors. And my name is Vincent A. Lancey. I am a six-time published author and the host of this amazing show. We are now, I want to say, somewhere around 65 interviews of incredible authors. So be sure to head to the playlist after this show to check out another great writer. Each episode, I bring on writers who published any type of work to help you on your journey, as you never know which journey will resonate with you most. And today, she's an all-star. She does some business. She does some writing. She does it all. But Pamela, you wrote three books now. You got three books written. Let's talk about your most recent. Well, the most recent was actually published in 2020, and it is an anthology. And so in that anthology, the title is The Top 25 Changemakers. Love that. And my chapter can be found on page 180. And the title of that chapter is Bread is Bread is Bread. Information and reaffirmation. So just to tantalize your audience, usually when I ask the question, what do they think the chapter is about? Of course, because people know that I do personal money management on the bona fide side of my business, they think it has to do with money but they would be incorrect <laughs> to some degree. <laughs> Not that kind of bread, but the concept is, is talking about entrepreneurship actually. Um, and um, from the perspective of, if you think of any grocery store, you go down the bread aisle, how many different types of breads do you see in terms of brand, in terms of types, yeah. right? And so if you were, going to start on this endeavor, even if it is becoming an author, yes. this would be true for that as well. There are other people who do what it is you're endeavoring to do or have written a book on the topic that you are going to write a book on. But just like there's so many different types of bread, different brands of bread, that means how boring would life be if we had one type and one brand of bread? And maybe you couldn't eat that kind of bread. So then you don't get bread, mm -hmm. right? And, and so all that to say, we are all uniquely designed, right? And no one can do you like you, no one can be you, but you. So go right ahead and proceed with what your purpose, what he has endeavored you to do in spite of. So I love how you put that. We are all unique. We are on our own individuals, but there are other people who are doing what we're doing. If you are a first time author or aspiring author, find some books in your genre, find some authors who align you can take bits and pieces of that work and turn it into your own. That's a great point. That was your recent book, 2020, an anthology, you say. What was mm -hmm. your first book? We'll now go back in time. Back in time. My very first book is this there one. It is. it is called Bonafide Bits, where inspiration and intellect collide with your finances. And so this book is a quick read, right? It has a, has five categories, as I like to call them, because Bonafide is my first business. And the mantra of that business is to educate, empower, evolve, enlighten, and enrich. And when you apply those principles, financial freedom's right in the palm of your hand, right? So those five E's are the category of this book. And in each category, there are 11 pithies, if you will. So it'll be an inspiration, that inspiration could be scripture, it could be a quote, it could be a mantra, it could be something just that I heard someone say and I thought was profound or interesting or point to ponder. And it will take that inspiration and then give you a life application of that inspiration. Okay. And so interesting story about the book, and I know I don't have time to go through all of that today, but I will just kind of give you um, a little tidbit that five, if you can't conclude, is my number. 
right? So bona fide, and the bona fide is spelled different, B-O-N-A, the number 5-D, right? The five E's, my other business, B-5. Those workshops that I do are always around five, mm -hmm. right? And five, biblically speaking, is the number of grace, right? And so his grace is foundational in all that I do. And ironically enough, not intentionally, but just how God works, there happen to be 11 pithies, right? 11 per category. And how many categories did I say we had? Five. And what's five times five? five, oh, five. Like that wasn't intentional. It's just the way it worked out. So yeah, so interesting book, quick, easy read for all ages. So even, you know, elementary kids could read this and get value right on up to my sassy seniors. <laughs> well, while we're on these books, We'll plug it again at the end. Where can we find these books online? On my website. And again, you have to make sure you spell the Pamela correct. I'm unique. Pamela with three A's. So P-A-M-A-L-A McCoy.com. I love that. Everyone out there, you're looking at the spelling right there. But you've now got three books. You've been on this writing journey. What are some of the harder areas you found in writing? Some advice you can extend to our audience today. Um, One, don't give up. Right. Because as Vincent said, you know, there might be some highs and some lows. Um, the, the, the main piece of advice I give everyone, not only just for being an author, but just in life in general, you've got to be solid on your why. Why are you writing this book? Right. Um, and if that why, as I say in my first book, if the why is strong enough, the what won't matter, writing a book, starting a business. And the how will just show up, right? So everything is hinged on your why. Why are you doing this? Your why is the thing that will not allow you to give up when you want to. I got that right there typed up in the notes, focusing on your why. For me, that's what the whole business is about. That's, mm -hmm. That was the first book right there, Left for Dead. I shared my why with the world, introduced you to who I am, my hospital stay, cutting off at my MBA commencement, which re- aligned my future with my why I started to understand that my story was way bigger than me that people in the audience were feeling my story feeling what I had to say and then it just kept going and I mean now like you a few books later and I'm sure there are a few more in the queue for you absolutely do you have, do you have something you're working on right now or what is going to be the next book you put out I do and I don't have the final title yet but when I started B5, this the newest division of my company, I launched it June of 2020 amidst the pandemic of all things, right? And so who does that? When you have an assignment, you do that, right? So I refer to this as my assignment from the big guy and it's all around self-esteem. And so when I started this journey, I began journaling. So from the time I got the assignment to date, I've been journaling and that will be, if not my next book, because I kind of got two going on at the same time, it's in the pipeline to come, um, really about the journey, the highs, the lows, the ups, the downs, and it will speak to each reader differently. Some are going to need to know and understand what it means to get an assignment and why it's so important to follow through on that assignment, even if you don't clearly see the reason, right? Some are going to need to know or, or be reminded of why not give up, why you need to persevere, Right. And all of this. So there's going to be lots of messaging in that. But I have been journaling since I got my assignment. So that will be a book forthcoming. I love that. And that's a little mental health tip she just offered without saying it. Everyone out there. Mental health is everything. If you're not feeling good upstairs, you can't really perform at your best in general. For some things work. For others, these same things don't work. If you have not tried journaling, it can be very therapeutic at times. And now mm -hmm. she's also finding a way to extend this into another book. I can resonate with you. I have like six books working on back there. I'm waiting on my next uh, larger check, I could say, where I could sit back and just start writing again. I yes. have such a passion for helping children. I have a couple kids, kids series in the works again. And now that the mental health series is done. But a little preview out here. I haven't really announced this too much yet. We have Left for Dead. I'm really transitioning this now to Left Alive. Left for Dead Ooh. to Live. So that will be part two. I didn't think it was time for that book yet, but I've had a few folks out there saying that 
they wanted to learn what's next for me in that order, some loyal supporters. So that will be coming soon. We've touched on a lot today, Pamela, in just a little time. We talked about all your work, some writing advice. We talked about the books you have next. Anything else you would like to touch on before we find out that contact info and book location again? I think just to reiterate one of the things that you said, writing a book, just like journaling, can be very um, therapeutic, right? And so I would say write the book. Everyone, I believe that with every fiber, everyone has a book in them, right? It's just a matter of getting it out. And so once you get it out, then you can decide whether you want to publish or not, right? The effect that it has on you in terms of being therapeutic and allowing you to get your thoughts, as I say, out in the universe, right? Once it's out in the universe, you can decide what to do with it. Maybe you want to publish it, maybe you don't. But I highly recommend going down that journey of writing a book. Yes, and that's a great point there. You don't have to do it for everybody else. You don't have to put that book out unless you feel ready. Do it for yourself. Get that therapeutic rewards from writing provide clarity to yourself, writing things down on paper or in general, at least for me, I could say writing things down pays major dividends. I'm someone a few years ago who got introduced to time blocking. I have a whiteboard every day and I plan out my day. It's a little bit of a different writing scenario, but for me, it's still writing. I like to write. I like to visualize. If you're writing on a Word document or a pages doc, you don't need to have every chapter planned out. That's the beauty of the technology age we live in. Just start writing and click save. Just every thought you have, start writing it in this document. Like Pamela has said, just write, 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 write. And then before you know it, you'll have a book for yourself or to make a difference with in the world. I can't thank you enough, Pamela, for starting your day as we record this, getting prepped for the release of Writing with Authors to come back. Where can we find you online one more time? Where can we find your books? Absolutely. At my website, PamelaMcCoy.com. And make sure you put that A and not that E in the Pamela. I love it. Everyone out there, you see her name right there on the screen. I am at Vincent A. Lancy on all social media. If you enjoyed this interview, please do subscribe to the channel to stay current on the next interview. Some other exclusive announcements I do for books and speaking and everything in between. The show is at Writing With Authors on mainly active on Facebook, but um, as we're recording this as well, I'm a few days away from a new VA joining the team to focus primarily on social media and in entrepreneurship, you have to wear all the hats. It doesn't mean you have to be great at every hat. Just go out there and yeah. put something out there. I can finally, huh, hopefully for good, move past the content creation because I'm just not the best, but I want to make sure everyone out there who supports me gets the digital age the best I can provide. Pamela, thank you so much again. And to everyone out there, we are signing off this time, both of us in the Tampa area. I look forward to seeing you soon, probably at the ECC. Yes, absolutely. Thanks again for having me.